During biblical times, people started building a high tower up into the heavens. It was to be a tower of Babel. The people wanted to be seen. God looked at his creation and realized that people must be bored to death. They needed a challenge. So he gave all people different languages. People spread across the planet. There was great confusion. But most people like a challenge, and they started learning each other's languages and got to know each other better. The world had become a more interesting place. <laughs> Except here, in Finland, God must have really been bored with Finland because he gave them two languages, Finnish and Swedish. In adding insult to injury, there were no other languages on the planet that were more different than Finnish and Swedish. Why does God hate Finland? Ei, ei, ei. Kuuntele. En ei nyt puhua. Mulla on kiire. Mä oon asiakasvierailulla Ahvenanmaalla. Ja mulla on kiire laivaa. Kiitos. God just thought the Finns were tough. But God was wrong. Wars came and went. And the Finns killed each other because of ill communication. The country divided. Fear had become the official language of Finland. Still today, little Finnish girls and boys rip their hair out if they speak the wrong language. Especially here on the little island of Orland. Here, speaking Swedish is the law. And the Finnish speaker, like our hero here, very, very afraid of the Swedish speaker. Beware, here be dragons. Domkraft. Domkraft. Domkraft.
Tukkinne! Perkele. Mikä nyt vittu? Vittu on oorlantilaiset. Perhaps God regrets his little experiment. I don't know. I do know that Finland has a third language, Sami. My great-grandfather used to say, if you let the bear and the wolf kill each other in the forest, the reindeer can live there in peace. God must have really been bored with Sweden. Be <laughs> 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 I saw Sweden. I saw Sweden again. Wow!